So, for, originally we imported points, and then from those points we uh, created triangles, and now we, we need to create a surface from these triangles. Well, what we're going to do first is we're going to create uh, some contours. Okay. And in order to do that, like many other functions, we need the active surface. And to do that, I'm going to select my triangles. And the reason you have to select them is because you can work on a subset. Okay. okay. For instance, I can only select these guys. Okay. Okay. In cases where I don't want to do all of it at once. I just see. Just for saving time. Okay. okay. Gotcha. gotcha. So let's do select all of these guys. And now. I do my set active. Yep. Yep. Set active button. And it's going to search through the selection looking for keywords in the data to say, yeah, this is a triangle. Okay. Okay. Now, the difference between a surface and a set of triangles is that the surface isn't required for anything. Okay. A active set of triangles is what's required. Okay. okay. Now, you, some might interchange the terms. Yeah. And that's yeah. probably what's happening because it, it kind of is interchangeable. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I'm only confused as far as I, I know you've got one function for creating the triangles and another function for creating the surfaces. So, I guess... The surfaces, the surfaces come from the triangles. Yes. And if I'm not mistaken, you can do it from just the points, and that's probably redundant. Yeah. Uh, that's what's confusing. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. understood. So, it's really okay. the, tri the triangles that are, are the key. The 10. Yeah, gotcha. Which is why in your documentation you start off with that. Okay. Okay. All right. Now that the search is done, what you can notice is that this button now has a highlight around it. Okay. That means that there is an active surface. Okay. So okay. now let's deselect the triangles because we don't really need them anymore. Okay. okay. So they're, they're cached in memory now. Okay. okay. And now that there is an active surface, many of these buttons are now active and available. Yes, I see yes. that, okay. And for this, for what we're going to do today, we're going to look at uh, contours. Yep. yep. So I'm going to click on that button. And a new window pops up. We're going to go through each of these. Okay. okay. The first one is just the easiest where you don't really have to do anything or no or understand or do much just click on OK the top is the range you can see the lowest is 83.82 and the highest point in this on this in the data set is 249.555 okay and that's and that's uh, the Z Z elevation the Z values are. yes okay. the minimum and maximum Elevations. Okay, so I'm just gotcha. going to go ahead and click OK, and we can see what comes up, or what it creates. And I should have changed the layer. It's probably going to end up on. Uh, I've got default names. Let's see. Right now, it's computing normals and such. Partial differential. Yeah. Differentials in each in the x and the y direction, and so I can start to draw them. Okay. 